Uh, thank you very much. You are correct. It's Mr. Snog Temba Klava, not a doctor. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to be talking about the adverse events management in Zimbabwe, looking at the costing model to try and manage these uh, adverse events. So just as a way of background, uh, Sorry. Okay, so looking at um, uh, the adverse events management system in Zimbabwe, um, we looked at that most of our adverse events in the VMMC program that we have been running since uh, 2019, these are the perf this is the performance that we have. And when we look at uh, the circumcision we have done, very few have been adverse events, and it's 0.0. .0 Zero 0.05. And of these, uh, we have adverse events that actually occur as severe. WHO classifies these as mild, moderate, and severe. And of the severe ones, we had 49, if we look at the period uh, 2022, uh, uh, in the last four years, we only had 41 that we we're really concerned about because they fell in the category of the severe ones. And so we looked at this uh, to try and model what would be the cost of managing this, especially that some of them are coming in retrospectively. In particular, we're looking at things like keloids, uh, which come much, much later on, two years after the circumcision or three years afterwards, when the budget for that is actually no longer there. So we also looked at others, uh, like uh, glands injury, erectile dysfunction, these are very rare. So we would like to manage, to pro make provisions for the resources to actually to manage uh, about the 41 percent, I mean the 41 in, in terms of the number. So in the period up to 2026, we wanted to project, come up with a model that defines how many of these adverse events are likely to occur and how we are likely to manage them. So in terms of our results, uh, we observed that um, if we look at the severe ones, we need to be deliberate with the very few adverse events that we, we have and plan for them. And on the results there, you see that in the period 2023 to 2026, we would need approximately uh, about 326,000. But obviously, this is the money that we will not uh, use. Uh, 2026 is where our target is, about a million circumcision. So for that year only, we would require to have a standby of about uh, 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 326,000. But obviously, this is the money that we not always use because sometimes these adverse events do not occur. So in terms of our conclusions, uh, this model informs program planning through effective resource allocation for adverse events. And secondly, tracking of these adverse events is critical as some of them occur way later uh, when the program has ended. And the Minister of Health and the partners are continuing to monitor and allocate resources accordingly. And so we find this model, when you look at the current funding across different countries, including Zimbabwe, the funding is based uh, on the number of circumcisions to be done in that particular year. So in the years uh, later on, there will be no funding for that. So there is need to, for governments to be deliberate and come up with models of ensuring that there are resources to manage, for instance, an adverse event that will come uh, years uh, later. So I would like to uh, thank the VMMC partners in the country that have actually supported us creating this data. Thank you so much.